Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your September 2022 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can you believe it's almost September? Where did the year go? I appreciate all of you though, as we've gone along throughout the year, I send you love and much gratitude. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. Today's reading will be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Next week, I'm going to have a four-month predictive coming out for the months of September through December. So if you haven't hit that bell, you might want to to get notifications. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn, please. Whew. All right, we will start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Current situation, we've got the King of Swords, the immediate influence as the Hermit. You have the lovers in your subconscious. In the distant past, you have the Seven of Cups. The more recent past, the Nine of Wands. The Page of Cups is coming towards you. You're represented by the Queen of Cups. The Page of Wands is the person or situation that you're attracting. You have the Five of Wands and your hopes and fears. Eight of Wands and the outcome. I like it. Now, this is kind of cool. One of the shadow cards is the seven of wands. We have 78 cards here. We have the seven, eight, nine all together. That's unusual to have that happen. I mean, you know, again, there any cards could have been here and they just happen to tell a story. So you have here Virgo and um, Gemini here. You've got water, fire, and you do have earth and air, all the elements. So Boy, I wouldn't want to get in your way with the Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords energy. Jesus, it's like just whatever you want, Capricorn, take it. <laughs> I mean, you're an ambitious sign by nature. That's just part of who you are. You're, you know, you've got tenacity, you've got grit, you've got determination, but you've got a great sense of creativity. And so whatever this is, whatever you're going for, you're going to get there with that Ten of Pentacles. That is the wealth card. But in terms of relationships, because you've got a nice love reading here too, um, I do want to say, before, let me let me back up a minute. If you have something going on, because there's something with the King of Swords Hermit that's connected to that Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords energy, I do feel like it's if it's you that's kind of disconnected from somebody in a way, it doesn't mean that you've given up, but I do feel like you might take a different path if there's been some kind of conflict that it seems to just, with that hermit energy, that just kind of redirects things so that it doesn't have to be such a big fight. Because sometimes Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords can be a bit of force manifesting. If the chariot was here, I'd be more concerned that it's too much will. But I do feel like with that Ten of Pentacles, it's like they're saying you are going to end up where you've wanted to be, where you've asked to be. So anyway, getting back to this, with the Ten of Pentacles, in the love energy that's here, it really is about leaving a legacy. You're, you're a life partner. You've got a life partnership coming in here. And if it's a new person, I do feel like with the Page of Wands and Page of Cups, they're going to bring a lot of fun into your life. So especially if you've had a bit of an intense energy lately, and it just seems like things haven't gone as smoothly as they they'd normally seem to or should. Um, but I do feel like, again, you're going to get there with that Ten of Pentacles. So the King of Swords has a real facility for communication. It's going to give you just the right words, especially if you've had um, some time apart from somebody. Now, if it's a reconciliation with that Page of Cups, that's possible, by the way. So there may have been a time where you just went, you know what, I need to figure out who the hell I am. You know, I need to get my, my bearings back. And the Hermit will do just that. That Hermit energy is going to help too with just disconnecting from negativity, from too much friction and conflict. The swords are about honesty. They're about courage. And so I do feel like with this combination, that King of Swords can be a bit harsh, 
But I do feel like with the softening agent of the hermit, it's like you're going to have the clear communication because you have communication multiple times. But it's going to come from the heart and it's going to be straightforward. It's going to be clear. It's honest. But it's not going to hurt anybody. That's not what this is about. It's not, you know, blowing up somebody's phone with all the terrible things that anyone's ever said about them. It's not, you know, gaslighting somebody or something like that. This is good. This is really honest up front, but it's very mature. So for some of you too, if it's a new beginning at a job with that page of wands representing the, what you're attracting here, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And I feel like the offerings, whatever they've offered, or it's going to be very straightforward. So the hermetic teaching on the hermit is know thyself, because when you know yourself, you know the universe. So with the hermit, you may find in this cycle that you, you are, you know, you've got this, this wisdom, you come out of the cycle with greater wisdom, but it's also an energy of accomplishment. And so I do feel like with this, this, these two together, it really is coming out on top, regardless of what you're asking about. And nobody has to lose. It's like a win-win. It's not I win, they lose kind of energy. So with the, the lovers being here, you know, we've got this wonderful, we've got in the outcome, we've got this eight of wands, arrows of love, but the other energy coming towards you is this page of cups. You're going to have a relationship here that does move, okay? And again, some of you with the, the Page of Cups, it can be an ex who timidly comes back. But I do feel like if you're receptive and open, it's going to take off like a rocket ship with that Eight of Wands. There's butterflies here. Now, those of you that it's somebody new, the pages are messengers. And whoever it is that, that's coming towards you, they're a go-getter. They're fun. They're kind of spunky, spontaneous. They have a great energy and they're loving, but I also want to say they're an uplifter. There's no competition, okay? It's not like you, like I said, there's a win-win keeps coming in. So it's not like you, they have to prove they're somehow better than anyone else. They don't care about that. They know they're. So with the lover's energy too, you've got the Archangel Raphael here. Um, it really is a, a relationship that changes how you see the world. It's very important. This is a very important card where it's placed as well. It's telling you, too, to pay attention to your dreams. Be aware. This, you know, I'm going to talk about this for a second. Adam represents your conscious mind influencing Eve as the subconscious. This is in the position of the subconscious, and it's all connected to the divine. So be aware of that because your your conscious mind, what you think and feel, tells your subconscious what to bring into your awareness. So shit, tell it. I'm, I'm, I'm rich beyond belief in every area. Okay, financially, mentally, emotionally, physically, and in love. Allow that to be so. Allow yourself to have access to anything. So with the seven of cups in the distant past, you may have had choices and there, there's an overwhelmed energy in the past. So there may have been something here where you chose somebody and it didn't work out or you chose a job that was just taking your soul away. It's like I see the the flame when you put like one of those candles, snifter or whatever they're called that puts out the flame. I see you as the flame and the job is this black thing coming down. It's, it's like, so whatever that was, again, those of you that have something new because with the pages, that's new energy and optimism. And so I do feel like with this, you may have you may have made a choice just to move forward that just didn't feel right because with the Nine of Wands right after it, I mean, this is definitely putting in a lot of effort without much return. However, Nines are about realizations. And so for some, it was a lesson learned. And I also feel like too, some of you really got that point of, I knew I was putting in more than I should have been and I kept doing it anyway. It was that lesson that needed to be taken away. And so with this nine of wands, he's a wounded warrior. You've learned what you've needed to learn here. You don't have to repeat this and I don't see it as you continue forward. And so with this particular card, is if you've made a change, because you have change coming in, in terms of a job or if it was a relationship where he just kept putting in and putting in. There was definitely a psychic wound with this. And so it's really about letting go of this chapter, putting it behind you. I wouldn't have minded to see death here after this, just because it really does close the door to the past and opens the door to a new beginning. So the Page of Cups is kind of a, a bit of a shy energy coming in. 
So it can be somebody who approaches you a bit timidly. I mean, they do have love. There's no doubt about it. But they just don't, they're not big and boastful. And their their energy is more sweet and soft. And um, it's not that they're, it's not that they're not, easy to connect with. But again, they might not come on that strong, I guess is what I'm saying. So you have that interesting energy of the King of Swords. Now, if it is an ex, it can be related to that where when the conversation needs to happen, it'll be very direct. But overall with this page, it really does bring in uh, an innocence or an optimism and enthusiasm that brings in that opportunity to be in love from a place that doesn't have trauma, that doesn't have you know, old wounds kind of coming forward and being part of the new relationship. But he is very spontaneous energy. So you might also find too that you just start having fun and you have that return to in a relationship, having fun and just the enjoyment of a partnership and without all these hangups and without all this, you know, we've got to do this and we've got to be at this standard or it's not good enough. It's just letting go of all that and just kind of letting the heart lead the way. So, with the Queen of Cups here, you've got here, this is your energy. So I do feel like you have you have somebody here coming in that I just feel like they melt your heart. There's something about this watery energy in this reading that is it's terrific because there's sort of this sternness and this detached energy and really putting your all into something. And this too is an important card to tell you to make sure you take care of yourself because the Queen of Cups can kind of do and do and do for other people and not put herself on the list. And so when you get this, especially those of you that really related to either a work or a relationship that was really taking a lot from you without a big return, this is where you say, hey, you know what? I have to take care of Capricorn here. I can't give away what I don't have. And it, it, this is a time where you, if you were depleted, where you reinvest, you restock. But again, you've got great intuition here too. So some of you may feel already this energetic shift because with these pages, especially this page of wands, this brings in the fun and the social opportunities. But it's also that uplifting energy. I mentioned that you've got an uplifter coming in. Could be a Leo possibly. Um, but somebody who really wants to see you win and they want to, they're a wonderful companion. They're a wonderful companion. They're a great conversationalist. They're high energy in terms of they like to laugh and have fun and they don't take things too seriously, but they know when to play and when to get to work. And so what I like about this for you is it is somebody who's going to be responsible enough. It's not, pages get a bad rap on YouTube. They're developing energies. Pages in the, when the cards were made, um, worked for the nobility. It was a prestigious role to be a page. It was not like you know, something you didn't want. It was actually positive. So I do, I'm kind of a purist with this one. I do want to say it, it brings in more. So your hopes and fears, you've got this five of wands and I feel like it's related to that nine of wands. You want to leave the past in the past. You're not looking to reenact chaotic energies or immature energies or really anything that felt like it was out of control if it was work related for you. But even with a relationship too, like I said, you're looking for somebody who's secure and that's who you're bringing forward. So with the eight of wands here, eights are vibration, their rhythm, their unity. And this one has you, as you put forth that seven of wands energy, has you moving forward fast. So see arrows of love in the tarot too, by the way. So you may find a fall romance is headed straight for you, um, but it feels encouraging. I mean, it feels like it's the, the communication like we talked about is open. It's clear. There's no hidden agendas. It's all very straightforward. And with the wands, this expands your life. So in terms of a career too, it's telling you that things are going to move forward for you, Capricorn, with work-related stuff too. If there's been something that needed to be cleared up here. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What else does Capricorn need to know, please? Advice for Capricorn, please. Well, you have here big happy changes are on the way. So especially with that eight of wands, that's going to bring in unity. It's going to bring in expansion. 
You've got meditation brings answers. We didn't talk much about that, but with the hermit, for sure, it's that quieting of the mind. You have compromise. So some of you, this may be relevant if you're asking about reconciliation or it's just reconnecting in a relationship. Now you have weight, but when with the energies that are here, you've got this energy of moving forward. So I would say it's more like, you know, just wait because they may approach you or you may get that shift, that contact, that initiation, maybe from somebody else around you. And you have a yes, so good things are on the way, Capricorn. I love you and I'll be back again soon.